Okay. All right, you ready? Yep. Okay. Let's go. Just mute. All right, so your first question, let me pull it up on Skype while the game's loading, is I've been scouted by the other enemy team. What buff I'm starting out, what should I do? Stay or move to my blue? Um, when, when you get, whoa, what's going on? Okay. When you get scouted, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to change your buff. It, j it just gives them a rough timer. Um, obviously, if you cannot get scouted, it is a little bit better, but it's always more optimal to fan out and just have a, a generic defense. Work will ward my blue. You should you should also state uh, you should ask him to ward it at like uh, one fifty ish. You should like okay. specify the time just in in the future to maximize you know efficiency. Um, alternatively, Warwick could just like ward um, the enemy like behind the red brush or something. You could ask for that as well because then you can just okay. see if people are coming into it or not. And then yeah. because of how he approaches top lane uh, through the dynamics of blue side, then he just he's going up through river, so there's no way for them to be into it. Yeah, that makes more sense. Good. Now, are you running uh, this? This actually matters. Are you running cheese and Zhao? Like, are you running nine zero twenty one? Um, no, no. I'm okay. Not. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we'll address the the other questions that you have listed on uh, Skype when they right. occur. Cool. Not about three minutes in. Yep. Okay. So now something that I want to address before like the game you know commences and whatever is so say that they know that you're starting red. So now yep. even if you don't go top, it creates pressure top because of fog of war pressure. Right. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and then on top of that, you can ask Warwick, like, when the top places his ward trinket, and then you can just abuse it by waiting 60 seconds, completing some sort of camp, and then going back in, like, 60 seconds. Um, gotcha. And then with red side starts, there's some other gank opportunities. So, we'll, uh, we'll be able to address them when they arise. Hold on one second. I'm so sorry. I am an idiot. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Now, when you're when you're doing a jungler, um, this is optional. Um, now, I guess you're just gonna go what? You're gonna go red I'm to go blue after this. Okay. Okay. All right. There's an alternative route where you can go red wraiths, wolves blue. Um, okay. Or you can go actually red wraiths wolves white blue, and that's a really okay. long blue. Sometimes it enables you to still have blue when you're level six, depending on how you want to play your jungle out. Um, okay. And the the utility of that is that you'll have a level up on the enemy jungler at the time for counter ganks, barring he okay. did a traditional uh, jungle path, but didn't elect to go for a gank immediately. One thing I was playing a, a ranked game today, and the team was saying I should have I go red right to blue and then go right up to to lane and that the lane XP should get me to 3 for a uh, really early gank. Is that like but it I tried it and didn't really work that well. No, don't 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 do stuff like that. Basically, one thing that I would recommend because again, you're silver one. So what do you have to worry about right now? Do you have to worry about proper rotations, proper baron cycling? Do you have to worry about all the nitty-gritty, you know, centimeter-esque, you know, dances with your champion or whatever to to maximize efficiency in team fights? Absolutely not. Yeah. All you have to worry on is playing standard, playing safe, and letting your opponents make mistakes. If gotcha. you make gotcha. less mistakes than your opponents, you're going to go further. Okay. Okay? So right now, we just saw that Shaco um, is... Uh, what is it in English? Because I know people have criticized me for this. It's Shaco in English? Shaco? Shaco? Sh I was Shaco, but yeah. Okay, great. Right. Great. That's you're so Korean, too. Awesome. <laughs> so, okay. So we just saw Shaco has uh, full HP, roughly. He yeah. has full HP. He's going to have full mana because he has blue buff. All right? And um, if you if you were to tab sooner, okay, it could tell you Shaco's route in terms of like did he kill wraiths, did he kill wolves? Because you can look at his CS. 
Okay. Okay. And this is actually going to be really important to just generic, simple play. It doesn't really take too much effort to just tab, see their CS count, and it lets you give, you know, it gets you, it lets you get an estimate of where their gold's standing because you can just compare it with your own. Okay. Yep. Now, obviously, there will be some skewering that will be occurring um, in terms of like, oh, did you kill wolves and he killed big golem? You know what I mean? Or you know something like that. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty generic. So right here. Where should Shaco be going right now? Um, so he just got bl uh, top lane, so he's probably going to go back and, I would imagine, farm his golems. Okay, so he's going to go golems. Golems. Okay. Yep. Hold on, let me, let me get better colors. Uh, are you colorblind at all? I ask this no. now. Okay. No. Um, so he's going to go to golems, right? So he'll arrive there in approximately, maybe, I don't know, five, seven in-game seconds? Okay. Yeah. And then maybe he'll even queue to it. All right. Okay. So then he's going to have to clear... He's going to have to clear golems, which is not going to be the fastest clear in the world, but he is going to have smite up, so it's whatever. So what can you do? Yeah, uh, clear wraiths and then wait for him? You can clear wraiths. Well, no, why would you wait for him? He has Q. He's just going to go invisible. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. even though you do the counter jungle, it doesn't make any sense to deny. So this is Shaco gotcha. specific, but let's, yeah. I like what you're saying. So let's say that it's like Evelyn, or let's say that it's like, I don't know, Lee Sin, or you know, something like that. You might be able to, yes, kill the wraiths and then go back into wraith brush and wait, but what does that come back to again? That comes back to being cute, right? We don't want to be cute. We just want to do generic, raw, mechanical emphasis. What happens if it's a weak early jungler, like a Mumu? And a Mumu went for that gank right there? Um, no, say he was successful or failed either way, and is that golems? You could try to go to golems. Okay. You could, yeah, you could try to meet him at golems. Uh, depending on how the gank went. It depends on how the gank went. Alternatively, yes, you can just go and kill the Wraith, and then you can, like, wait for him or something. But again, that comes down to being cute. Okay. All right? All right. So right now, what we want to do is, given, like, so, you know, Queen moves to kill Pawn. Queen kills right. Pawn. Okay? Yeah. So now yeah. you're, you're, you're Queen. All right? So Queen moves to kill Wraith. Queen, uh, you know, this Queen responds with Golem kill. You respond with... I don't know, you know, like, so basically we're viewing this as chess. So you're going to kill Big Wraith, and by the time Shaco gets to Big Wraith, you'll have asserted pressure in mid with Lux, and then what? Then you can come down and yeah. you can farm your own Wraiths, you can go down to Golems, and then this inherently applies pressure to bot and mid at the same time. Gotcha. All okay? Right. Right so that yep. should be the thought process. If anything like this ever occurs again, where you are in, like, this vicinity, okay, and a gank happens like this at top lane, and you have the option to come over to jungle to do this, okay? Bada bing, bada boom. All right, one, two, three. Yep. Yep. Easy steps, and it applies psychological pressure using the fog of war. Okay. Okay. So should I be looking at the Zed gank? Because if I get them, then Shaco might be right behind me, and it might be a counter gank. Like so, say I get raves. <clears throat> mm -hmm. By the time I'm looking at mid for a gank around the the wall. Um, Shaco can't be behind you. Time. You you would be able to see him if he were behind you. Okay, gotcha. You know what I mean? Yep. Okay. All right. So let's get back into the game. Oh, okay. So right here. Yep. All right. You see lethal, right? Yeah, that was one of my questions. Is like, should I flash in for the like one? I, I eat into him instead of walking up and autoing him. Like, is that proper? And then two, should I flash in for the, um, to try and get a kill? Okay, well let's see here. So let's go through this frame by frame. Just... So you eat into him, right? Yeah. Now, if you don't eat into him. Okay, For, given this gap, all right. Now look. Let's look at how fast it takes Zed to respond. He walks back a little bit, so it takes him about two seconds to respond. Yep. Okay, so then we just have to factor in: Can you clear this gap within two seconds? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe you would connect with it, but yeah. you wouldn't. You wouldn't clear it. You wouldn't right. break it. Um, yeah. So because of that, now let's let's say, can you get to here within two seconds? But then if you do that, yes. then yeah. Zed isn't, you know, he's not necessarily here. He's a little bit further forward, and yeah. then he can just simply get to here. So there's no way for you to hit 
any sort of his like areas that he can land at. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's completely fine to Ian in terms of your question. Now let's go okay. a little bit further forward. When this happens, okay, and he throws his shadow, the first thing you want to be doing now. First off, um, it, it looks like you're diing, which is good. So you hit him, and then the the issue is is that your di shouldn't be here. It should yeah. be forward. Right. Now yeah. if now because where's his face? Um, I can't really tell, but imagine he's going to be you know, moving towards a shadow. Right. Well, not only yeah. that, the, looking at the face is really important because the face tells you where their cursor is. Okay. Okay. So by seeing his face, even before the shadow comes up, you know where the shadow is being thrown. Right. So always look at the champion's face. Doesn't matter what champion you're playing. Doesn't matter if you're playing jungle support, AD carry, mid, fucking you're playing poppy, jungle, clairvoyant, <laughs> smite. It doesn't matter. Um, just look at the face. And as soon as this happens, and if you're DIing, like, here, okay, mm -hmm. you just run to that shadow. And if you can't get to it before, like, he would be able to repop it and get away, just flash to it. Because what okay. does this kill do? It gives Lux a two-level advantage. Okay? Because where's the wave? This wave is going to come. Lux is going to have to clear this wave, but all her stuff's going to be on cooldown, so the clear on this is going to be relatively slow. Right? Okay. Yep. And then the wave's going to arrive... And we're gonna give her two level advantage over Zed. Yep. Because you have to factor in the kill for the XP as well. And then yep. off of this, what can you do off a Zed kill? Um, well, I could maybe help her push her lane if she wanted to push it all the way out. What's something else you could do? Um, well, probably go to. I would either either continue to farm or counter counter jungle, I guess. Okay, you could. Where's Shaka right now? He's probably walking toward his wraiths. He's probably somewhere in this vicinity, right? Yeah, that's right. So, some, something yeah. like that. Okay. So if you kill Zed right now, where's Shaco going? Um, I don't know, cause it, like it looks like we're gonna be both. Well, if I go under turret though, he you'd might only be take one shot. You'd me. only take one shot. Okay. What is one shot? It would knock you to about. Yeah, not much. I can't. Yeah. Well, he's probably gonna have to hold mid then. Well, okay. Well, does he have to hold mid? Where's your minions? Well, yeah, I guess if we don't push lane, then he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. So where's he headed? Right. He's probably going to be headed to his wolves, I guess. Okay. So are you stronger than Shaco? Um, that's a good... I'm not that familiar with it. I, I know Shin's strong in the in the beginning, but I would assume so if Shaco hasn't put his boxes out. Absolutely you are. Yes. Yeah. Since out, it's just a generic... Yeah. Um, Shaco needs his items to, you know, deal his stuff. He, you okay, know, gotcha. So, anyways. Um, basically, so you can run up. You, well, you can run down here, you can run up through Wolves, and you can meet him at Wolves, and he has to Deceive Away. I think Deceive's the yeah. name of it? Deceive is, is Q? I have no idea. I think so. So he has to Deceive Away. And then when he Deceives Away, um, you just you, you counter jungle the Wolf, and then you can go down to White, you can kill White, and then you can move down to Bottom. And even if you don't get the gank on Bottom, that's your recall timing anyway, because you need to upgrade the Machete. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Makes sense. Um. Uh. Hold on, hold on, Scarlet. Right, you said you're in the yeah. For what? The after thing. How long? Will it be? Like forty minutes, fifty minutes. Okay. Um. Sorry. Um. Okay. So. So you come down. You counter jungle white, and then you move down to bottom. And even if you can't get a gate, then you just recall in the brush, and it applies psychological pressure to bot. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. So this should be, if these situations ever arise again, it almost doesn't matter on the jungler, okay? This should always be your chess moves. Okay? Yep, that makes that sense. sense? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Um, now, let's say that you don't end up getting the kill. Like, he, his flash is better, or his positioning on his shadow is better, and you don't get the kill. You can still go up for the counter jungle on Shaco, but depending on how it goes, because Zed necessarily wasn't killed, and you don't have that level spike, not necessarily that you would get four, but you are going to get four off a counter jungle, right? Yep. So yep. There, there's other things to factor in. You might have to recall inside blue brush instead of walking all the way down to bot, you know, because your, your HP is lower, your, you know, it, Zed can get back to lane quicker, Shaco still has potency in the jungle, you know, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, well, just plus two because Shin's so strong in the beginning. I want to try and maximize the usage of that as right. much as I can. All right, so let's... Let me just get the Skype questions up. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let's 
That's good, typing that in. Okay. Alright, so I think I'm going to end up flashing for a kill here, but I don't know if it's worth it or not. Uh, well, let me see how it unfolds. It, it, it can be played out better. Do you die? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. It was really sloppy for sure. Yeah. So right here, the the first mistake is that it's already obvious that you're here. Okay. Why is it obvious? They're walking by all these minions. Yeah. So this is yeah. where you cry on the inside right now. Your heart sinks and <laughs> the Titanic yeah. comes on on your widescreen yeah. TV and uh, Celine Dion's in the background. So anyways, right now, instead of, you went like this, okay? So what did yeah. you just do? You wasted like two seconds. Okay. Because you didn't need to do this, because they already revealed that you were coming. So as soon as you get here, even though this is the correct path, barring right. that they didn't do this, you need to just stop going forward and just go. Gotcha, yeah. Okay, and you need to maximize Take efficiency. Take a better path. Right. Yeah. So, whenever it's revealed that you're going for a gank, if you are going to commit to it, just commit. Do not hesitate. Gotcha. All right? Yep. So, that's that's error number one. Um, error number two... I was going to flash it a flash there. Nope, nope, nope. You still wouldn't flash up. Okay. Okay, so you, you go for the hit on her, and... Oops, why did I just lose control of my... I'm so sorry. You hit. Hit. And now you get one more hit, and now you would flash. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. To proc it. Mm -hmm. All right, and that guarantees the kill, because why? Alistar, we still know that he's all on cooldown. Yeah. All right. So that that's just that would be where the flash is. I like can get if like you're hesitating and stuff, um, to maybe try to give it to the AD carry and whatever, but it's not really worth it. The only thing that came good from that, believe it or not, is I believe their ADC didn't get an assist or a kill off of that. Okay. Let me let me let me go over something else that you could have done. That I just uh, thought of. It's right at the end, of course, but... Um, like, when you know you're going to go down here, what's something that you can do? It's very, very minor, but even if you aren't going to go down, you're going to be forced to recall. So what's something that you can do just to maximize efficiency? Walk into the turret? No. Something else. Okay. I have no idea. Smite a minion. Smite. Yeah. yeah, smite a minion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was bad, too, because walking in, I just gave an assist to um, whoever was standing there. Right. All right, so now let's scroll down. Do you have more questions? And I, I meant uh, giving Ash the kill, not the... Uh, Assist, but yeah um okay so here okay now this is something that i um i'm in disagreement with with some people that talk about it so obviously you're gonna go wriggles right into yeah. feral fire um but rather than get the dagger just get the boots because not okay. it, it lets you go through the jungle quicker and you don't really like the dagger isn't really going to help you on too much like yes it, it's going to help you proc your passive a little bit sooner like the the three hit knock up thing but for the most part it's gonna it's, it's less useful in the sense that you don't have any gank assistance and it's also less useful in the fact that you can't move through the jungle as quickly and when you're playing an aggressive jungler now what's an aggressive jungler you have like jarvan lee sin you have like vi shako um I don't know, like yeah. Trindamir, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, yeah. You you want mobility. Okay. Okay, so that you're able to keep up. Good. That was actually one of my questions, which is because I've I've seen some junglers, um, even on a pro level, buy boots feel like really late. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know if it's better to buy them early, to buy them really late. Like when's a good time? So that's that's helpful. Some of them are also dependent on are they running movement quintessence? Are they running movement masteries? Are they running utility? Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like those. Yeah. 
that stuff's important as well. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go back to basics. Let's like stop the the hyper. You know what I mean? Like these are just things that you should consider for all junglers. It's not about Zin Zhao necessarily. Yeah. Okay. So now let's pause for one second. So while you're doing this camp, what could you be thinking? Just by looking at the mini map, you don't have to do the F key stuff and read into minions HP and minion yeah. positioning and whatever. What can you do? What's well, two things is Zed's missing. So you might just be just out of vision. Mm -hmm. um, and then another one is, I haven't seen Shaco in a bit. Um, and it looks like Timo's pushing, so there might be a gank opportunity at top soon. Okay, so let, let's... What's some other stuff that you think I might be looking for? Um, probably, like, am I tabbing while I'm, um, j like, jungling these minions? Or killing these minions? Okay. Um... You could tab to check on CS, so that's number one. So there's tab, yeah. and then what? There's, you can look at the mini-map while you're taking the jungle camp. Yeah. So you already said that. What's the last thing? Um, I have no idea. So this is one, two, and there's a third thing. Maybe calling my team to do something, but I have, I have no idea. The avatars. Oh, gotcha. Looking Read it there read their HP and their mana. Oh. Okay. So you yeah. you mentioned maybe gank assistance at top. Does this look like gank possibility? No, you'd just, no. you'd be a one-man yeah. army. Right. But but should I be uh, going up there because it looks like he might have to recall soon, so I might have to hold the tower for him? Well, that's a good question. Okay, so then you would have to look at Teemo. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. if Teemo is at like full HP, it's a little bit shitty. Like yes, you could go wolves white top, but if Teemo's also going to recall relatively soon, you can just go Wolves White Wraiths. Because gotcha. what does going yep. to Wraiths do? It gives me gank uh, you know, assistance at mid if I need to, or go back to top. And then okay. also give vision of maybe where Shaco is, because if the Wraiths are missing, then he was there recently. Exactly. And it gives you a timer on it. And now, yep. what else does it do? So let's say that by the time you're White, Teemo's recalled. Yep. By the time you get to Wraiths, where's Teemo? He's probably second tier turrets somewhere yeah. around here yeah. okay so what does this mean this now gives you dual yeah. pressure yeah okay that totally makes sense and then yeah so and now we look at the game timer and by the time all of this stuff is happening you're probably around 650 yeah okay so rich yes right okay yeah go cool. So this is one of my questions. Like, was like so six thirty four? Do you pause it right here? Mm -hmm. um, so you just now saw Alistair come into view, but before this, so I'm just now leaving my um, white camp, and I literally see no enemies on the map. Um, you see Alistair there, but this, so that's one of my questions. Like, what's the best course of action right now? Like, I have like literally no idea what I should, the right thing to do because I don't want to walk all the way down to get my wraiths. So does it mean I should counter jungle? But it seems a little dangerous knowing that I don't have no vision of where the enemies are. Okay, so when you're going top, this is just an error because you didn't look at the lane before going. Okay. So yeah. this is considered wasted time, right? Right. Um, yep. So then now by coming up here, like if Shaco didn't start red, which you know that he didn't due to his gank, it doesn't make any sense because it only enables yep. you to go to golems. But if you go to golems, then Timo's going to see you on his way back. Yep. All right. 
So this is just this is just an overall error. When no one's on the map, you should just assume Teemo's recalled, Zed's recalled. And if Zed's recalled, that probably means that he's getting ready for a blue buff if Shaco's going to give it to him. Now, if that's true, where does that put Shaco right now? So we can use the recall timings of the enemies to judge where their jungler is. Do you see how? Not yet. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. alright, so if Teemo is like here, and right. Zed's like here, where can Shaco be, realistically? He's... He either has to be at Wraiths in route to bottom, or he has to be at bottom. Right. So Shaco can only be in this vicinity. He can't be, he actually, I'm sorry, hold on. Okay. So why, what, why is that? So why would, if, say, Timo's missing, why wouldn't he be at Golems? Because he doesn't want to be exposed? Well, why would, right, he, well, he doesn't want to be exposed, but then on top of that, it, he doesn't have gank potential. Because then yeah. Timo's going to have oh, to give gosh. up, like, 10, or I don't know how many minions that is, it looks like a lot. He's going to have to give up a, quite a lot of CS to get a kill onto Warwick, which, how does he really have gank assistance for Timo versus, you know what I mean? Like, Timo, yeah. Timo versus Warwick, like, there's not a lot of gank assistance there, unless Warwick's relatively low. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. That doesn't make any sense. And we can see why. So you being here is irrelevant. Like, Warwick would not have died. Right? And yeah. then, if Teemo does elect to keep chasing, then he misses CS. So it doesn't make any sense. And we just saw, like, even if you're not there, they're not going to chase Warwick, because he's almost back at tower. Right. Right? So you could have gone to Wraiths, and then already been at mid, helping Zed. Like, helping against Zed. Nice. Oh god, you didn't act- Okay, well Lux cleans up. Okay, good. Very lucky on that one. Yep. Now, what's something that you can do? Why- why take red right away? Um... I always try to take them up, because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to maximize them time. But why- why would you suggest uh, race. going for bot lane? No, race before red. Oh, uh, race. Gotcha. Just minor- minor efficiency. Roger. Okay, because then you'll have an extended red buff because your mana is relatively low. I'm predicting that you clear wraiths and then recall, right? Um, I'd probably go for blue. I have, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, your mana is so low. So if you do go to give Lux blue, and then do recall, then that's what I do. Okay. I believe. So then, then yes, then you did just waste like 15 seconds of your red. Yep. Totally. Right. Because there's no way Shaco can come to your red. Zed's dead. You know what I mean? Like, yep. he doesn't have any protection. So, this is just one of the questions I had, like, just mechanically, what's the best way to give the mid lane blue? Should I smite first? Hit a few times and just hit S to stop. Keeps uh it, oh, okay. So let's say so. There, this is a good question. So let's say right now, okay. Let me pull the mini map into clear view. All right. So let's say right now that Lux has ward coverage of this side of the map, right? Okay. And we know that they can't come in. Then you can just smite early, okay? Yep. Like and just give it to them that way. Okay, if you that don't have ward coverage, you Which have to don't. hold smite. Yeah. Because if the enemy appears or like Shaco jumps over or like something like that, then you want to smite it. You just have to take it to secure it. Um, alternatively, now say that you're facing a Ziggs or a Lux mid. Very, very specific, right? Like Ziggs or Lux. You have to take this and you have to pull it to like here. Not okay. here, not here. Because what's the most common, like she's going to shoot the line like this. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, or like fucking maybe she'll, the line will hit like here like whatever um i'm not drawing a syringe but so <laughs> that's that so you want to pull it to like here against lux generally like you know whatever unless like you know you're playing like ranked fives or custom fives against friends and they know that you do that and then obviously mix it up but for the most part pull it to here against lux against ziggs again you have to hold smite until like maybe 500 like whatever your your smite is depending on when you give it yeah. to her so, like, if you're yep. level 4, level 5 in some circumstances, like, you're not 6. Um, 
then you can smite it right before like an auto attack of hers kills it. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, now just recall. You could gonna, I, you could kill white. Is it okay to do whites or no? It it's okay to do it, it's okay to do white, but it hurts your it hurts your um your fallback gank potential. Like okay, well works recalling so, so it, red. right yeah You're, yeah. So now one little trick that you can do, okay. Now this is something that I do. Now you can buy you can buy wriggles. All right. Now does wriggles actually make a huge difference in the jungle clear times? Um, not a huge difference. Not a little a, bit, though. A, a, yeah. a little bit. A little bit, right. But would you gain more utility for your team, and would you add more to your team if, say, you got tier 2 boots? Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, uh, depending on which boots I get, I could get attack speed as well. Right, right. So, with that being said, you can buy Wriggles, take a look at how many Feral Flare stacks you have, just yeah. have that number in your head, and then hit refund. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's interesting. That's really like abusive, right? And then just you buy the boots, and you're like, all right, cool, my my Madreds <laughs> is at fourteen, and you just go back and you count it from there. If you weren't already yeah. counting it preemptively, okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right. So I didn't. I don't think I bought boots till late, but I don't know. I forget what I did. Now, what's the pink ward? Um, so this is more of a low elo thing. I mean, I could save it for Shaco for sure, but um, I just know in the low elo, like I place a pink ward that thing's gonna last, or is, yeah, pink ward's gonna last all game. So I usually try and keep one on the map as soon as I can afford one. Okay, but in in some circumstances, if you could elect, now why did you get longsword over boots? Um, that was just, I, did, I always, for some reason, thought that I shouldn't get boots till later in the game. Um, okay. So, that's just something that was probably a, a wrong judgment on my part. Okay. Um, you want to get boots. If your champion scales with mobility being greater than his damage output, what are champions yeah. that are like this? Um, Master Yi, Trindamir. You know what I mean? They just need to stick yeah. to you. They don't need, you know, like, yeah. damage output, whatever. Um... You don't need it. Like, Zin Zhao, you okay. just need to proc your passive. That's all you yeah. are is, like, a passive bot inside of fights. You don't need that... That totally makes sense, yeah. That extra 10, 20 damage that you might get off with two autos. You know what I mean? You would rather... Yeah. Would you rather hit them two times for an extra 20 damage or hit them three times for an extra 106? You know what I mean? So then you just... Yeah. You factor in the mathematics. Um, so there's that. So this just comes back down to itemization. Um, the thing with the pink ward that I don't totally... Ow, that's sad. Um, I don't totally agree with is that, again, you should only be focusing on yourself. So even though it oh, is really? silver, and I okay. agree that you're right, it will last an eternity, there's more important stuff to be doing right now, like making sure that you get Feral Fire up. Okay. You, I mean, you had a kill there if you wanted to go for it. It's fine. I think I still get it. Because he foolishly just hangs around. Oh my god. This guy. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. This is one of my questions, though. So, um, like, when's it, when should I be freezing the lane for the mid laner, or, like, or when should I be taking a heavy tax? Like, what would have been the right thing to have done there? You can take heavy taxes if the lane is really full when you got a gank off. Um, okay. And you can also take it if they're, like, really snowballing their lane. Like, if you're the main reason that they're winning their lane, like, they're up 20 CS or something, you can, you can do a heavy tax. Um, additionally okay. there, um, if you do a gank for a lane and the lane is frozen or it's stalemated or something like that, shove it into the tower because then the enemy laner loses all of that CS and then the right. lane reshoves for your laner and thus it's, it's actually advantageous for your overall team.
Oh, Lux. Yeah. Okay. Now you see Shaco. Okay. So you just saw Shaco. Yeah. Okay. So yes, you can just wait in this brush. And as soon as Shaco appears with his deceive. What the f Just go. Yep. Now here. Okay, now what 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 did you notice? So Zed starts to re-engage. What what what's on cooldown? Um well her ultimate's now on cooldown. I don't care about Lux. Is that Oh Oh, Zed, yeah, his okay. ultimate's ult, because he went on her before I got into lane. Okay, does Zed have flash? Um, I can't remember the timer on it, but probably not. Okay. Shaco's deceives off cooldown, right? Yeah. Okay. Flash, kill, turn it. Yeah, yeah totally. Okay. Alright, so walk up here, flash, close the gap, kill, because this is on cooldown. This is not on cooldown. You get to Lux, absolutely. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. so this is circum. This is situational. Okay, and then so let's like play it out. All right, so you flash, kill him. These minions begin to aggro you, so they turn temporarily. Okay. Yeah. These minions continue attacking this. Shaco ends up running this way. Okay. You can't really chase him. Lux is probably gonna stop running like around here, and then she'll rotate down right, and she'll come back to begin the CS. Um, yeah. What is the timer right now in the game? It's eleven fifty eight. So what does that mean? Um, buffs should be up pretty soon. Well, technically, you would assume so, but what do we notice yeah. on, uh... Oh, no, oh, he, he got that. He got that off Lux, correct? Um, I, I have no idea. I actually cannot remember. I am so sorry, because I'm, like, trying to analyze so many different things right now. Um, so, basically, uh, you can go to Shaco's blue. Because yeah. that's dead. Yeah. And Shaco yeah. was forced to retreat into blue. his red side. Yeah, he'll be going, yeah, north. Right. So, you can take the blue... And then you can go down to bottom, and you'll have gank potential there. And then you yeah. can recall. Yeah. Okay? Totally. Well, you end up getting it. Yeah. Yeah. And it almost went the Could've same. Yeah. 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 It, it almost went the same way. Now, what what are you doing now? Uh, I'm just trying to help her push the lane to be able to then also hit the tower, I believe. I could be wrong. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, that's what I was expecting. I'm like, where? Well, Shaco has. Oh. Oh, I stooped. I know it was so. Okay. Bad. Okay. You <laughs> so had so bad. <laughs> I sh if I wouldn't have stepped backwards, it was. Um, I would have been great because I would have pushed him back into us. Yeah. <laughs> you see Lux. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. And so now, if oh my god, please don't do it. Oh, please, no. <laughs> Alright, so this is just like efficiency. Like, you're obviously recalling right now, right? Yeah. Okay, so Red just wasted 30 seconds. There's no way Shaco was going to counter jungle this. There's no way Zed's coming in to counter jungle this. There's no rush. You know what I mean? Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. And then another thing that you're not doing is, yes, don't use F keys, but look at the lanes. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Just monitor them. Okay, now... What's something? Talk to me. What's going on in the game? Um, so it looks like we've just lost bot tower. Um, so those guys are, and I haven't ganked bot in a long time. So I'm worried that those guys are hurting. Um, I need some help. Um, I got 20 stacks on my feral. 14 minutes. That's not too bad. Um, I've just held luck, so she should be fine for a bit. Um, and doesn't look like Warwick's in a position to need gank assistance, although my blue is sitting up there. So it might be better off for me to go to my blue. Uh, okay. Yeah, if that's probably what I'm thinking. But I thought you know, helping at bot lane is probably more important than trying to secure my blue. Alright. 
when bots like this, this is their dream world. Okay? Because the enemy bot lane can't overextend this far. Yeah. Without having to, like, ward here, ward here. You know what I mean? Like, ward here, too. Like, up there. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? That is... 225 gold investment just from like Thresh or, or not not Thresh, uh, what's his name? Um, Alistar oh. or yeah. you know, whatever, just to be able to push this lane. Yeah. So it's already cost inefficient by like two and a half waves. So they would have to sit here for like three waves just to, you know, whatever. So anyways, ignore those mathematics. Just remember that like, okay, three wards, bad investment. Okay? Yeah. So because of that, there's no reason to help bot lane in this situation. Give Lux the blue and create pressure top. Additionally, when you have a top laner that has uh, a suppression or like a root or like anything that's a guaranteed gank assistance, so like Rise, Warwick, uh, Darius to a degree, um, you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. A snare or something like that. Sn yeah. A, yeah, a snare. You can do lane ganks. Oh, gotcha. I haven't even thought about that. All okay. Right. So. You know, that becomes a possibility. Do, when you do a lane gank, what's the proper way to do it? Do you try and wait to be able to sneak into the bush where you're out of vision? Or do you just go really just walk right up into it? If you can sneak into the bush, then yes, that's obviously optimal. But if the lane's shoving, like it, we see here, we see these these red little things, then yeah. yeah. So your, your path right now should be, like, give blue, wait and evaluate top, maybe kill white, do a lane gank. If you kill him, take top tower. Okay. Okay. And basically, yeah, like, bot lane is missing and they can go for dragon, but you guys aren't in a position to even be able to contest dragon, okay. right? So yeah. what do you do? You trade objective for an ob objective. You trade right. top for dragon. Yeah. Okay? That makes sense. Oh, wow. He went for the deceive, but it looks like he forgot. Yeah. Just DI. Like, okay. You weren't DIing. Um, th uh, in the Asao video, yeah. um, the Asao video that I have on YouTube at 39 minutes, 30 seconds, I, I discuss what DI is. So, I've seen it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Lux landing okay. that Kamehameha. Yeah. Or that final flash actually would be more accurate. Okay. Um, so... Just, well, alright, so this is bad. Like, don't, don't, prioritize Lux's blue over, uh, over Wolves. Because, see, like, totally. Lux, Lux is wasting time. Totally. I think for some reason I thought that she was going to CS first, and so mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'll just go get that while she CSs, but I think she decided to come back in. Mm -hmm. And then now she just went back to CS, and then now she's come back. Okay. Good. And now, right, so here's the gank. The lane gank. Oh, shit. Totally, Top. yeah. I don't think I did, but yeah. Um, something to consider. Now, you don't have to do it this game. Obviously, it is situational. If you were snowballing, and let's say bottom didn't die yet, like bottom, yeah. you know, whatever, or let's say that you're 3-1-1 and it's like 12 minutes into the game, something that you can do is you can completely circumvent your core build, and you can go Bobo Boots. Okay. Okay? Just to yeah. like, because then you're investing into your team. You yeah. know what I mean? Alright. Yeah. That makes sense. Just pause right here. Fuck. Ah, paint. 
Okay. So now, with all the line shoving, what's your thought process? Um, well, there's three at bot, so um, it makes me worried about that tower. Um, so, but there's no, there's no jungle for me either. But that's probably not my key concern. Um, so I probably would walk down there just to be able to hold the tower. Okay. That's good. That's, what I would that's good. Doing. Yeah, that's good. All right, we're fine. I think this is a disaster, by the way. Oh. I can't remember what happens. Just spam R right now, yeah. All right, well, it's not the end of the world. You guys did get, you know, you got a kill. So do you mind going back to right before it engages? Yeah. Because I think Alistar went on on uh, Ash, and I went back okay. to go help her. Should well, that have been the right decision, or should I have um, kept going on some of the other targets in the front three? Well, let me see here really quick. Okay, so... Because also, Ash, I don't think, is really a carry at this point. What's the first thing that you're going to want to do right now? Um, in this freeze frame? Um, I probably um, maybe focus Shaco, because he's probably a little bit more of a... Something that has nothing to do with the fight. Um, oh, hit a health pot. Hit a health pot, yep. Okay, it now you're full HP, but you're about to, you're about to, like, take a hit, yeah. so I'm hit a health so pot. So bad at that, yeah. I okay. Agree. So now hit health pot. All right. Even yeah. if only fifty of it gets used, that's su that's effective HP. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah. Okay. So when you get knocked in airborne, you get knocked back. The first thing that you want to do here is just instantly go on to Alistar, and you want to smite Shaco's box. Oh, gotcha. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. And had you just gone on to Alistar before activating your ultimate, like this may go. It, it would have gone better. Yeah. Right, he would have been dead. You wouldn't have to jump like that. Okay? So that that's what would have been different. And somehow Ash dies, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. And it looks like you're going Trinity Force. Yeah. I've seen some people do, I forget the name of it, the blade or whatever that gives you a speed boost. Mm -hmm. um, and I used to do that for a while, but then after I switched to Trinity Force, I felt like I had more um, damage output and it was better for me late game. I don't know if you have an opinion on, on that. Blade is better, Unzenzo. All that okay. you're meant to do is proc your passive. Gotcha. That's okay. all that you're, you know. You just need attack speed. Because if you hit them six times, okay, and you proc that knockup, you're going to get two additional auto attacks, which is greater than Trinity Force. You so, know what I mean? If you pause it right here, I agree. Uh, so, here's one of the questions I have. So, I don't really have vision of any other enemies on mm -hmm. the map. Oh, just yes, this. I probably have kill potential on Zed, because he just, I believe he just uses ultimate, so, but I don't have any vision of any other enemies, like, so I, I played scared and did not go in, like, what's the right, what's the right call there? Well, Zed, if you chase him, Zed has, Zed has a fifth spell right now, um, I'm not even talking about, like, Ignite or whatever, I'm talking about the minions, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. he has that on you, alright, he has the base stats over you, Zed would kill you. If this is gotcha. even skilled, since yeah, okay. right. Even sealed Zen's out, even sealed Zed, Zed kills you right now. Even without yeah. ultimate. Um, yeah. So that just answers that. Just CS this wave, use your smite on the big minion, make sure that it gets pushed back, you know, whatever. And, yeah. because you just need to stall until Lux gets to lane, because we see Lux yeah. down here. Okay? Let me take a quick gander at other questions you have right now. Okay.
Okay, so one thing that you weren't doing this game, and again, it just comes back to if your top laner has a suppression, a root, anything like that, and it's very generic, um, you didn't gank top a lot. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't believe him. Walk on the other- Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Well, you end up getting the kill anyway. But you could have walked- You could have gotten to the other side of Teemo and then ulted him back in. Oh, gotcha. Yep. That's a good idea. So, yeah. But, um, you have to trust Warwick there. That just comes down to trusting. Okay. So now you guys get mid. And now what should be your, your thought process? You just killed Teemo. Warwick's gonna get top, ping Warwick to get top, Teemo's missing, you know Teemo hasn't been on this side of the map, look at Kate, uh, Ash and Brahms HP, our ultimate's all up. So maybe try and contest Dragon? Yeah, get Dragon. But on your way to Dragon, what do you do? You either kill Wraiths or Red, and you get Feral Fire. Yeah, totally just, mm -hmm. Okay. There's Shaco. So this was just bot lane. This is bot lane being silly. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, because I just saw golems go back, so that means that she's alone. Now, so I, I think I'd go in on her. I I, uh, I believe you were just watching the previous coaching session that was just streamed. So what did I talk yeah. about about summoners for a kill? Um, it's only worth it for objectives. Is that right? Yes, because right now, okay, great. You kill Caitlyn. Can you get dragon off it? Um, probably not. Okay, no. Maybe, maybe. I don't Ma know. Maybe, yes. It comes down to maybe. Warwick's not in position. It's going to be you, Lux, Braum, and Ash. No ultimates against Zed, Shaco, Alistar. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, maybe is the exact answer. Yeah. So with that being said, your flash is now on cooldown, and when Dragon Contestion does come up, nothing's really yeah. gained off it. Yeah. Which I think happens. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, well, this is an unfortunate... Like, now it ends up being worth it because Caitlyn's dead because now you get this to this tower, but if Alistar and Shaco are just here at the tower, you don't get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so it... Yeah. Okay. And now if Dragon were up... Okay, in the certain circumstances, if these were- oh my god. Um, <laughs> she's a pacifist, man, I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, you would just rotate, get dragon. Oh! So this is an interesting fight. I, I'm sure I screwed this up, but... So I go for Zed, and I realize, uh, probably not. I should come back, which is dumb. I should have probably not chased him to begin with. You should have not chased him to begin with, absolutely. Yeah. Because Zed, he can just get away from you. Believe it or not, I somehow kill him and then just walk around. Yeah. <laughs> Good. And now what's something that you didn't do again during that? Oh, yeah, that's totally. I don't think I ever take potions when I fight. Okay. This is dumb. Uh, one other little mini, um, mini thing that I can suggest is also before you upgrade uh, Riggles into Feral Fire, drop the ward because then it resets. Yeah. That's just a very minor, minute thing. Yeah, get the double, double ward. Okay. So with this VOD, let's go into the stalemate contestion, and then stop till next VOD. Because I okay. feel like this is a lot, you know what I mean? Like, to keep, yeah. 
And what I mean by stalemate is a dance in mid. That, that's all that I mean. Okay. Alright. So here you come over. You should tell Lux, like, you should just type in chat. Oh, that sucks. Red's gone. Um, you should tell Lux uh, to get blue on her own. But Okay. So you give her blue. Yep. And now what's something that you and Warwick can do? Um, Just get top. Do you think, like, okay, top. You have so much HP for a tier 1 turret, right? Like, you can just dive Teemo underneath. Yep. Okay. If he elects to stay. Now, it's unfortunate that, yes, Teemo does have his blind and you are auto-attack reliant, but, like, let's be honest. He's probably maxing E and then W, so his blind is, like, hardly anything. Mm-hmm. I just want to see the stalemate. So yeah, just keep clearing your jungle. And in the event of like a stalemate like this, and if you're playing a Feral Flare jungler, just keep going exactly what you're going. So this is actually okay. good. Okay, so now, yep, go back to the... Yep. So this is this is what I wanted to see. This is what I wanted to like climax on. So, and I, I'm sure I screwed this up. So one of the, I think, things I do, I could be wrong. It's, I don't know if it's this fire or another one. It's not this one, because I don't have... So, like, is it ever worth flashing to the enemy back line to hit their carry. And ulti people into your team? No, uh, that's probably even better. I wasn't even thinking about that, but just in general. No. No. Okay. Unless you can 100 to 0 them in like 2 seconds, like you're like Kajix or you're like Rengar, yeah. yeah. like yeah. I don't know, like Kajix, like yeah, you can do that in some circumstances if you're like really hyper fed and you'll just 100 to 0 them and then leap out instantaneously. Or, like, your AP Tristana, like, this is obviously a very gross, bizarre situation, like, your AP Tristana, and you can, like, jump in DFG full combo with Ignite, you know what I mean, and then W yeah. out. Um, I actually believe there's some highlight video on YouTube of, like, some player doing that, like, Valkrin or something, is his idea. Okay. He does it. Yeah. Um, and, like, situations like that is completely acceptable. But right here, no, absolutely not. It can be acceptable, given the fact of how your ultimate works. Right. Yeah. But that's Zin Zhao specific. It's not. It's not decision making specific. So here, if you pause for a second, so I decide to engage because I saw the enemy split up, even though it was on the support. Right. No, that's it's completely right fine. Yeah. Okay. Now let me just rewatch this one sec one time. So when you you can jump on to Alistar, but then you should immediately turn your focus, especially as soon as he activates Alt, to Zed. Okay. So use Alistar as like a Wraith camp or something. Just using it to yeah. to gap close, like a collie. Yeah. Like you're like, okay, thanks. You know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And now you should you should have just gotten out of the fight. Don't go in on that, especially not on Teemo. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, what's your itemization going to be? Um, I mean, I think I end up going Randowins. Okay. Randowins is okay. Alternatively, what what else could be okay? Um, maybe Sunfire Cape. Mm, something else. What's the, uh, what, it, what is, what is common within their team? So now we're going to pull out like a fucking, we're going to do like a Venn diagram. Okay. All right. Not a Venn diagram, but hold on. Let's go into paint. All right, so uh, one sec. Okay, apparently I just like, have to open like a new fucking thing. Oh my god! All right, so like, what is their team relying on 
right now. So we have Shaco, Zed, Timo, Caitlyn. <laughs> Cal. Gotcha. Cal. Yeah. All right. So what what do you notice that's common about all this? Um. Yes, there well, there is AD. AD. Yeah, I was gonna okay. say that. Um. I have no idea. Aside from that, I mean, there's some invisibility with Timo and Shaco, but I don't know what that means from an itemization perspective. Okay. Uh, hold on. All right. So, um, AD is is one of the key yeah. points. Okay. Not that tanky. Well, what's the range on Shaco? Probably not that high. Well, it's it's melee. <laughs> it's yeah. melee. All right. What's the range on Timo? I don't play Shaco. No, it's okay. um pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. close. Okay. Range. Pretty close. What's what's the range on Zed? Um, he's melee as well. Or he's, he's got a few, like, yeah, those Yeah, he's hits. an AD caster, right, right. Yeah. Caitlyn's relatively long. What's the range on Alistair? Melee. Okay. What does everything here possibly, like, potentially call for? Yes, Ronduins is good if you're going to jump into them and whatever, and that's how you're going to play it. But right. because of the Teemo mechanic, if you jump in and you, you activate Ronduins on them... Now, first off, Zed probably isn't going to be there when you jump in. <clears throat> okay. Shaco probably isn't going to be there when you jump in. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be aiming to hit potentially three people with Ronduins. If you hit these three with Ronduins, you're going to get knocked up by the cow, and then the squirrel is going to, like, shit nuts in your eye or something. Like, that's just what's going to happen. And then Kate's going to somehow get away because she has her net. All right? Now, yes, you can get your R off, and you can potentially knock the squirrel or the cow into the enemy team, but what's something that overall provides greater utility so you mean like an offensive item that gives like a speed boost or something like that no frozen heart oh okay because they're all so like short range yeah. right yeah slows yeah. all so short range and it provides innate utility no matter what you do whereas ronduins has that one burst okay yeah the armor value is so high yeah the mana isn't the greatest thing but it also provides cdr okay which is in yeah. out it does it does help him okay all right so there's that and now the other thing is that you're not tabbing that frequently but right. what is what's something else that you could technically have for uh, itemization in what context for itemization um so i end up going this may be a terrible move because they're so ad uh, ad based especially like caitlin i wouldn't like thorn mail no, don't I don't okay. I don't agree with Thornmail. Okay. Um, because Thornmail Thornmail is good if they are completely AD. If they're not, okay. I don't totally agree with it. Okay. Um, but an alternative here is to you can pick up Hex Drinker. Because you okay. need to you yeah. all, like I said you more are survivability right yeah. more survive more durability inside of fights. But they have numerous ways to proc Hex Drinker. Shaco's ultimate, Shaco's box, Shaco's uh, dagger. That he throws, Shiv yep. is that is that what it, I I don't know, Timo proc and procs it on everything because he's just a poisonous bastard. The cow procs it like on his spells. Caitlyn procs it on her trap, her net. Uh, Zed doesn't really proc it, so yeah, he's not into magic, man. He's he's atheist. So, um, yeah. So you we're looking at right now Hex Drinker and Frozen Heart. Ronduins is okay if the dynamic of Timo isn't here. Or, like, okay. Alistar, okay? Yep. So, th that's pretty much that. And then, like, we just look at the VOD one, one last time. And so, as soon as you spawn, what's the first thing that you're going to do? Um, probably help push out lanes, probably, like, the top lane. What's more important? Um, well, I don't know. Okay. I mean, at this point, I mean, obviously we want to get objectives, but since it feels like we're being pushed in on, I'm trying to secure objectives as much as I possibly could. Well, Lux is probably going to hit this, and then Lux will probably go back and get this wave before recalling, no? Um, I think she chases Caitlyn till Affinity and dies. But yes, th theoretically she should. Okay, and this lane is going to be around here yep. by the time you respawn? Okay. And mid will probably be around here. Okay? So and then this this wave will just be doing this wave. Braum or someone else can go and handle this. Lux, in normal circumstances, would handle this. You yep. need to go straight to Dragon. Gotcha. With everyone okay. else. Okay? Yep. 
And also we have no vision too, so I can probably ward right. along the way. All right. Okay. Um, so is this all good? So it's very good. Thank all you. Right. So take this. Take the thought processes. Remember, the thought processes are, are what are key. Not everything that I'm saying is literal, um, yep. in yep. the sense that it is gospel. The thought processes are what you want to be taking and applying. Okay. All right. right so yeah. we'll meet again in a week. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right, man. Thanks. All right. I will talk to you then. All right. Bye. All right. Later. See you. Bye.